Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Too Quick Gaming here, and today I'm back with episode six of my St. Louis Cardinals franchise here on MLB 14. The show. As you can take a look at the standings, we are currently five games under 500 and six and a half games out of first place of the NL Central. And right now, as you can take a look at the wild card, we are even worse back there as we are seven games out of the second wild card spot. But we're taking on the Pittsburgh Pirates here in this NL Cent in this NL Central rivalry. As Gregory Blanco, the rookie for Pittsburgh, has been batting 211, and um, this this Pedro Alvarez is batting 191. So this Pittsburgh team has done very well so far this season. They're five games over 500, and currently we're four five games under 500. So we're looking to capitalize here. We'll have Shelby Miller on the hill as we're going to be facing off against Garrett Cole here in this matchup here tonight. So as you can take a look at the series recap so far. A 10 to 1 victory for the Pirates in game 1 and then the Pirates have won by 3 in the past 2 games. So we don't want to get swept here in a 4 game set as we want to at least take one. And so here you can see the lineup for the Pirates. It's Jordy Mercer batting 314, but Pedro Alvarez is batting <laughs> 191 and we're in the middle of I believe July. So, as you can check out a lineup, Alan Craig and Yadier and Molina both batting over 300. Johnny Peralta is getting the day off today, so Daniel Descalzo will be starting in his spot. But we have Shelby Miller on the hill, as I've said before. He's 6-7 and seven on the season with a 4.9, 5.9 ERA and 104 innings pitch with 88 strikeouts. So, 0-2 count here to Gregory Blanco, as I talked about earlier in the episode, as he's going to strike out swinging on a cutter right there. And so that's now going to bring up Garrett Cole. Here's going to be on the mound for Pittsburgh, who's 7-3 and three on the season, having a very solid year in 116 and a and two thirds innings pitch. So three two count with two outs here to Alan Craig, and he's gonna swing at it, and he's gonna hit one deep in the left center field. This one's gone, not gonna stay in. Is gonna stay in the ballpark, as he's gonna get in there with a two out double. And so next batter would be Justin Smoke, and he has a two two count with two away, and he's gonna take this one the other way down the left field line. This one is gonna go all the way to the wall, as Craig is gonna score, and Justin Smoke is gonna get in the second standing up. As he has a two-out double. So, 0-2 oh, count to Molina. He hits one deep into right center field. This one's hit it for the Cardinal bullpen. And gone. A solo shot. A two-run shot, I should say, for Yadier Molina. And that is number 100 of his career. Congratulations, Yadi. You've earned it. Just a great way to start to... Good milestone in his career. As he hits out number 100 of his career. And the Cardinals lead a 3 to nothing here in the first. So one two count with two away here to Kyle Seeger and he's gonna hit one the other way in the left field for a two out and base knock. So that's four straight hits for the Cardinals. But with an 0-2 count here, Daniel Doscalzo, he's just going to strike out on a curveball in the dirt, and that is going to end the rally. So 0-1 count here to Russell Martin with two away in the top half of the second inning. He's going to hit this one into right field, and under it is, I believe, yeah, Alan Craig. He's going to make the catch. So a 1-2 count to Randall Grechuk, who's going to strike out swinging. And the reason that he's starting is because Matt, is because Matt Holiday is currently on the DL. I believe he's going to be maybe out till probably mid-August, but Matt Carpenter is going to rip one into right center field. This one all the way to the warning track dirt, and he's going to get in the second standing up once again. So, doubles power so far here in this game for St. Louis. So, Oscar Tavares, he just gets an inside pitch, and he'll jam it, and he'll be in the center field. And that's going to be caught by McCutcheon, and that will end the inning. So, with the no 2 count here to Garrett Cole, and this is going to be 9 up and 9 down for Shelby Miller as he's retired his first 9 batters he's faced. So with a 3-1 count here in the bottom of the third to Alan Craig, he is going to take that pitch down low in the dirt for ball four. And so we have a leadoff base runner here in the bottom of the third. So with an 0-1 count here, Justin Smoke, he hits a curveball and he hits the other way for a base hit. So we have two runners on with nobody out. So here's Yadier Molina with an 0-1 count. He'll run back up the middle. Diving play by Mercer. Throws on the second for one on the first double play. As that pretty much killed all of our rally. And then this, as Kyle Seager will hit one pretty fairly deep to center field off the warning track as McCutcheon to make the catch. So no runs come across in this inning. So with a 1-2 count, Shelby Miller will freeze Russell Martin on that 12-6 curve as that will end that inning. And Shelby Miller still has not given up a hit so far in this game. So Oscar Tavares with a 1-2 count here in the bottom half of the fifth with one away. And once again, doubles power as Oscar Tavares will get in the second base with a stand-up double. So with a 1-2 count to Alan Craig, he's going to go fishing for that curveball in the outside part of the plate. And so, 3-0 count here to Justin Smoke. I don't know why I swung at that pitch. Even though it was up and in the zone, I could have just taken a pitch and waited for a better pitch to hit. As he's going to line out to Starling Marte. And here it is, the first hit for Pittsburgh here on the, after, on the night. 
and this is where Shelby Miller would start to struggle. So he has the bases loaded with still nobody out, and Sterling Marte is going to hit one deep to right field, and Craig on a late dive, and that is going to bring in every runner on, as that's going to be a bases clearing triple for Sterling Marte, and this game is now tied up, as Shelby Miller was just fantastic early. He has now given up three runs and make that four, and the Pirates would have the lead, and they would never look back. So they're up Four to three now, and so now two on and nobody out still for Pedro Alvarez. He'll ground one through the right side in for a base hit. Coming around is Gregory Polanco. A strong throw from Craig, but it's not in time. So it's now five to three Pittsburgh with now one away as Russell Martin hits one deep to left field. This one's gonna one hop the wall, and this is when Shelby Miller would eventually get pulled out of the game. As throw home is pretty close, not in time. And so it is now a 7-3 ball game. And no, they're still not done. This one hit to the left center field. This one will get down to the gap. All the way into the wall. And an 8-run inning for Pittsburgh gives them an 8-3 lead. Here at the end, and here in the bottom, or top half of the sixth, let's just say. So with a 2-2 two -two count, 2 starting Marte is going to line one to the Scalzo. And that'll end the inning. So speaking of Daniel Descalzo, he has a 2-0 count. He will rip one deep to right field. Not known for his power, more of a contact hitter. As he hits one into right for a base hit. And this one's going to be a stand-up double for Daniel Descalzo. So 1-2 count with two outs to Randall Greenchuk. He had about a 9-pitch at bat. But he will strike out. So here's your 7-8 line score. Just that big 8. The big 8 spot. And they're in the 6th inning for the Pittsburgh Pirates as they lead it 8-3 to three here on the top of the 7th. So, first pitch here from Tyler Lyons to Gregory Polanco. He'll hit one deep to left center field. Going back is Oscar Tavares as that will hop over the wall. So, they 2 will count. Pedro Alvarez will come. He will ground out and I went home with that throw. I really thought he was out, but the umpire calls him safe. And then, Russell Martin, two batters later, will hit one into right field. And Alan Craig will make the catch. So, 9-7 to seven here in the top half of the 7th inning. Oscar Tavares will get things started with a line shot in the center for a base hit. And very next pitch. And Alan Craig, he's still on fire. He's going to hit one deep to left field. And this one is way out of here. Over the bullpen for Alan Craig. And the Cardinals now go in within 4. So, Justin Smoke is up. He will line one left center field. This one will drop in for a hit. And so, now a rally starting here with two away for the Cardinals as Yadier Molina will shoot one in the center field for a hit. And no, now 2 1 with two out now for St. Louis. And so the bases are loaded for Daniel Descalzo. Hits one deep to right center field, but this one will, will die out in center as that could have possibly tied up the game for us. So Alan Hansen, the pinch hitter, is up and he'll strike out on a cutter from Jason Mott. And so, top of the ninth inning here, one-two count to Starling Marte, and he's going to strike out swinging on that fastball. And so, 2-0 count now to Pedro Alvarez, and this was just a hanging slider. And he's going to crush one deep to right field, and this one's over the Cardinal bullpen. So, Pedro Alvarez hits home run number 98 of his career, and the Pittsburgh Pirates now are in double digits as they lead it 11-5. As I said earlier, when they scored that eight-run inning in the sixth, they just never looked bad. They even added on to their lead as they didn't have no score three runs after that inning. So, it's an 11-5 game, and Neil Walker will just slowly tap one right back to Rosenthal, and he will throw on to first for the out. So, two outs in the inning. Justin Smoke is up with a 1-1 count. Here's the pitch, and he's just going to pop this one up to Russell Martin behind the plate, and he's going to make the catch, and that will end the, in that will end the ball game. So, the Cardinals were up 3 to nothing going to the top of the sixth inning. They gave up eight runs, and, well, they gave up 11 runs, but only scored two. So, the Pirates win this one 11-5. As we had, the Pirates had 11 runs on 13 hits. We had five runs on 12 hits. Pedro Alvarez had a two-run shot in, to give number 12 on the season. As Alan Craig also added on to, as he had two home runs in this game. So, thank you all for watching.